surprised that when you get into the industry you actually get to like immerse yourself in the space that your clients in like the industry that they're in um, you become like a student of when you're really on a client and like day to day year after year like you, you really know you know their business and what they do and a lot of it's really interesting stuff in ad school there's no real you know brief you get you pick a client and then you try to do something cool and in the real world, you get a brief and there's a real business problem and it puts you in a smaller box and it's a more interesting challenge. I think a project that made the, probably the biggest difference so far in our careers as partners is something called the Equal Payback Project. It's a project to crowdfund the collective money women lose to the wage gap over the course of their lives. For us to have like brought it all the way through, for it to get success and attention, and to get Sarah Silverman on board, the rewards were really high. After the Equal Payback Project, it kind of seems like the world opened up a bit and we were able to think bigger and be confident in the fact that a big idea can actually happen and get made. In only five words, my advice to young creatives would be only present work you love. The stuff that people like bat around on the weekends, the creatives kind of just like come up on the side, a lot of times like just go back underground. I think in general the more a creative can be more comfortable with the nervousness and the like I don't know if it's gonna work kind of thing, um, the better the result. I think it's also like been refreshing to be reminded that this industry actually can do really amazing things. Like we have access to you know, award-winning directors and actors and like some of the best technological minds. When you really use all those resources to their maximum effect, you can really change culture and that's a pretty powerful thing.